Okay, let's be honest. It's just between me and you. Sometimes you get tired of the same old thing. Sometimes you don't have time to pack your lunch or you know on the way home you're not gonna have time to fix dinner. Believe it or not, there are some acceptable fast food options out there. Now, granted, they may not be grass-fed, hormone-free, gluten-free, paleo, I mean, the list is long, and it may not check off all of those, so you gotta do what's right for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite fast food restaurants to pick up a meal at when I'm in a hurry, when I get caught out and I'm starving. Now this may not be for everyone and I completely understand and you know what I always say, you do what's best for you. Everybody's journey is different. So if you are just now tuning in to one of my videos or you're one of my regular subscribers, welcome. Thanks for coming back over. If you're new though, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're gonna know when I upload. Also follow me over on Instagram if you wanna see before and after photos and check that description box for the Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. You're gonna love it over there. There is also lots of discount codes in the description box so that I can save you some money. So as of right now, I'm thinking this needs to be a series. Maybe once a month, maybe once every few weeks, I do a video like this and I compile several different restaurants, even sit down restaurants. So let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite low carb and keto friendly options when you go to a sit down restaurant or when you pull up at a drive through I need to know. I've not tried them all. If you are watching today's video between Monday, November 22nd and Monday, November 29th, then you still have time to take advantage of Perfect Keto's Black Friday sale. This is a big one. Definitely go ahead and stock up. If you buy one item, you're going to be able to save 20%. Two items, 25%. Three to four items, 30%, five items, 45%. And if you want to go ahead and stock up and get six items or more, you're going to be able to get 50% off of your purchase. With your orders, Perfect Keto is doing free gifts every day. That is going to be while supplies last. You already know we take the Perfect Keto Collagen. It is very important for hair, skin, nails, and joints. Nola bars, absolutely delicious. So if you're missing a candy bar, this is your opportunity to get some keto friendly ones. They have MCT oil, they have electrolytes, cookies. They now have the Munch Bars, which are like Rice Krispie Treats. They have those in chocolate, original, and peanut butter. This company does have lots of different items to choose from. You're gonna be able to find six or more, save 50% right now, and stock up. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. We recently got a Freddy steak burger in our area. They do offer their burgers as lettuce wrapped. It even says on the menu. I know when we go to a lot of these restaurants and you ask for your burger lettuce wrapped or without the bun, they look at you a little weird sometimes, but not at Freddy's. It is pretty common there. With their steak burgers, you're gonna have options. If you want to get a single, you can get a double, you can get a triple. Let me show you what we picked up today. At my Freddy's, this is how it comes packaged, so you're not gonna have to worry about unwrapping it and maybe things flying everywhere. On the inside of the package, they already have this wrapped in lettuce, plus they have it wrapped in the paper. So if you are eating in your vehicle or on the go or at your desk at work, you're not gonna have a huge mess. My order is gonna be the bacon cheeseburger. I got the triple, no bun, lettuce wrapped, and I also got no mustard. And that's because I'm just not a huge fan of mustard. This does have onion and pickle on here as well and a lot of that steak burger. You can see the cheese, the bacon, and how well this is wrapped. We were in drive-through when we ordered this and you could physically see them making it right in front of you. So you are getting your burgers fresh there. And I'm gonna assume if you're ordering a lettuce wrap, it's not gonna be something that they just have under a heat warmer ready to go. So if you are bringing this home and you wanted to add some more condiments to it, like the Primal Kitchen steak sauce, delicious. I do suggest being careful with their sauce. They have their famous Freddy's sauce, which is the jalapeno fry sauce, as well as just the regular. Main ingredient is also going to be soybean oil in these. That's the go-to when it comes to things like this. But we're talking ketchup. We're talking cane sugar. There's a lot going on in this. 
But if you're doing dirty keto or you're doing low carb, it's worth looking up to see how many carbs are in this. For me, uh, not something I'm gonna add because it does have sugar and I'm worried about it spiking my blood glucose. Since you do get the container, if you want to go ahead and unwrap it from the paper, you can eat this with a fork and knife. If you want to, all you gotta do is just ask them for some plastic silverware. But I wanted to go ahead and take this apart just so you can see how big the pickles are on here. There's the onion and beef. But what they do is they fry up the patties. Then they go ahead and stick the cheese and the bacon in the middle and roll that up. So when you're eating this, it's like having six layers of beef if you go with a triple. That's what the inside of that looks like. All of that cheese and that bacon, delicious. Let's do a really quick rundown of my favorite Chick-fil-A order. Now Chick-fil-A does have several different keto friendly options. This is just one of those. I will be adding more into future videos. This is gonna be their Cobb salad. I get the grilled chicken on that and they do shred that up at my store. You do have the option also of getting this hot or you can get the chicken cold. I get it cold. When I order the Cobb salad, I tell them no corn and I say no tomatoes. That's just a personal preference. Never been a fan of tomatoes. This does come with their charred tomato crispy red bell peppers. I don't eat these. This package is going to be six carbs. When you open this up, this is a lot of salad, guys. This is one of those never ending salad bowls that you eat on forever. There's cheese, there's bacon, the hard boiled egg, lots of chicken. I use usually go with avocado lime ranch or creamy salsa. Just know that these are going to be dirtier keto options because the main ingredient is going to be soybean oil. Both of these are going to be two ounces and a serving is going to be the entire pouch. And this is a large pouch of dressing. There's what the ingredients look like on the avocado lime. If you wanna pause that and check those out, there is gonna be some sugar in here. But when you go down to the bottom, it's not gonna be a lot of sugar because your carb count total on this is only gonna be three for the entire package. There's the ingredient list on the creamy salsa, and you can see for the entire package of this one, your total carb count is only going to be two. So if we're gonna go by the sugars that are in these, this one is gonna have one total sugar, whereas your avocado lime ranch is gonna have two. I wanted to go ahead and get both of these so that you could see what the options were. And again, I never eat an entire pouch of this because this is a lot of dressing. And as far as a drink, I get their unsweetened iced tea. I'm not really sure what sweeteners they carry, but I always have my own in the car and in my purse, so that way I can just add it. This one is the Truvia Stevia Leaf, and it's going to be erythritol. So this is what I add to my drinks right now because it is not spiking my blood sugar. So if you're looking for a substantial meal, something that is going to fill you up, I suggest Cobb salad. Just remember, go with the grilled chicken and no corn. And if you want to cut back on even more carbs, you can say no tomato. I've not been eating out hardly at all, so I want you to know I've been doing this for you guys. Well, let me show you what I picked up at Taco Bell. Even in the container, it looks amazing. I order the chicken power bowl. Now you can also get this in the steak if you want. What I do is tell them no beans, no rice, add jalapenos, and add extra lettuce lettuce, sour cream, cheese, there's those glorious jalapenos, guacamole, tomatoes, chicken, and they put a little bit of avocado ranch on this as well. If you wanna get some of the sauce packets to put over it, some of the hot sauce, you can. I'm not really sure what the carb count is. It has to be low carb. It's basically just a salad. When I bring this home and eat it, I even add a little bit of salsa to it, no sugar added, stuff I just keep here in my refrigerator. But when I'm out and about and eat this, just like this, it's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be filling, plus it's a healthier option. That's to the point where I like to order things online and on the apps 
That way I can customize it the way I want it. All I have to do is just pull up to the speaker, tell them my name, and then roll on around and get it. And it's already ready. Taco Bell actually has lots of low carb keto friendly options. Let me know what's your favorite. So this is the salsa I'm gonna put on here. It is just great value. So it's from Walmart, it is the thick and chunky. This one is going to be the mild. They do have it in spicy. There is no sugars added in this. I'm not gonna add a ton because of course it is tomatoes. So that would make that carb count go up a lot higher. Just a spoonful. See, that's it. Just a little bit of salsa right on top. Makes it complete. Okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Thank you all so much for watching. Now, while you're here, make sure you go ahead and follow. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you haven't already and hit that like button. Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this becoming a series and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. I think Quincy's hiding over here from me. Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Uh oh, He's got his Sunday fun day shirt that I picked up at Aldi. He has to come out here and sniff the perimeter every day.